What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD, and I am here with a special guest. You probably seen him on the channel, you know, Weak Hero and Play Dead live reaction read throughs. But I'm gonna go ahead and let him introduce himself real quick. What's up, everybody? It's your boy G. And I'm here live. What up, y'all? So, pretty much, this gonna be the reboot of the Otaku Fix podcast. You know, new channel, new logo, new duo. And we're gonna get this thing right. This the first yes, this the first episode, so we're not gonna, you know, be too strenuous or anything. It's pretty much just gonna be a meet and greet, just letting you guys get, you know, more of us as far as what we like, what we like to read, do, stuff like that. Just so you guys can get to know us a little better. Um, we got a few things, news topics we want to discuss with you guys. And yeah, and we're gonna see how it goes. So also, if you have any suggestions as for the show, what we can do, or things you would like to see, or for us to talk about, always drop it in the comment section below. We do read all the comments, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Yes, I don't that like button. Alright, so, right. G, my brother, my guy. What's, good? What's going on with you, bro? Man, nothing much, bro. Just living this, you know, this quarantine life. But I'm an essential worker, so you know how that go. Oh, but man, yes, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future, bro. For us, like with the Taku Fix and just with the channel in general, man. Like, so this is exciting, bro. Yeah, man, it's, it's definitely exciting. You know, we we've been trying to do stuff for a long time. Yeah, low key, huh? Behind the scenes, we've just been like plotting, <laughs> like straight <laughs> plotting and planning. Like, we go launch it. Yo, real real crazy stuff, like. This started what probably like like towards the end of last year, and we were really gonna like launch it in the beginning of this year. Right. But it's been, I mean, we can't even blame that shit on COVID. <laughs> like, <laughs> we just, we can't. Yeah, it was more or less my it was more or less on my end, but yeah, dude, it's freaking yeah. wild. But we are here, bro, and yeah. and it's exciting, bro. It's really it really is, man. It really so it is, man. Like it, it's definitely been a minute, you know, getting together and getting everything going. Um, of course, if y'all didn't know. If y'all are very new to the channel and new to me, at least, um, the old channel, Tick Games Network, we were removed by YouTube for copyright strikes that um, we didn't even get a chance to <laughs> fight. <laughs> so, get your ass out of here. Right. They, they didn't even give us a chance to, uh, you know, counterclaim, bro. Like, they kicked our ass. Yeah, right on like... So, yeah. So, pretty much, this is the anime side of Tick, I guess. But, you know, we're just doing our own thing, trying to just trying to spread that anime love and news and webtoon stuff as best we can, as best we know how. <laughs> yeah, bro, shit's wild, man. All right, so, I mean, y'all know a little bit about me already, so I won't go first. I won't take up too much of y'all time um, when I go. But, G, why don't you tell the people about yourself as far as um, some of your favorite anime series, manga, and um, webtoon, since I know you pretty much got off into webtoons now. So why don't you give a people a brief introduction on you and who are you and all that good jazz. Man, so I'm going to just make it short and sweet. I love anime, always have, man. Um, this shit goes back probably like early 90s. My dad got me into it. But yeah, dude, so I'm always going to go back to Dragon Ball, bro, no matter what. Like, it's just, even though I know the story, the I know show. what happened, but <laughs> the Goku show, but that's just what it is, bro. It's like, once you, it's it's the nostalgia, and just once you with something, you kind of, like, never drop it, no matter what. Once yeah. you with it, you're truly with it, you never drop it. And then that was, like, the first thing I seen, you know, that came on TV at the time, because we was broke, broke kids, bro, didn't have, like, the the networks and whatnot to watch right. what we watched. We had Dragon Ball, or we didn't have reading, you know, like that, reading material to have, so... Yeah, man, it started there and just took off, bro. And so it's been like 20 years or more. Mm. And, bro, just like, I just can't believe how far anime has come, bro. Like, like as for content-wise. Because remember, it would be a time, bro, where we had like really like just like five anime. Now it's just so much. You, right, you don't even so know like where to go to consume. You, you're you having like anime overdose because you're like your brain's fucking exploding. You're forgetting. Like for me... I'm forgetting characters because I pick up something new, put it down so quick. I'll be like, damn, wasn't this character from this? I'm forgetting names. It's, it's getting wild, but like... I, I forget names all the time, bro. <laughs> it's good, <laughs> man. It's like the variety is so good. And and just to see the growth in the community, bro, and and see all the new people coming in, even though their their takes on stuff is kind of weird. 
Demon but, Slayer. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> right, bro. Like they over here, like putting up, putting up fucking charts where my hero is like the greatest thing ever. And don't get me wrong, I love my hero. I'll, I'll, I'll stay for a little bit, but like it ain't. Come on, dog. It's not that. You know. <laughs> yeah, but same, go, same with, same with. Would you like to same with? Would you like to call Mid Slayer, bro? Like that shit was with it. Everything. It is mid, it is mid fam. But but I digress. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much like. Uh, I mean. I just like anime, bro. I, I I pick up stuff, put it like I tell you all the time. I pick it up, put it down. As long as it hit real quick, if it can hit real quick, uh, mm-hmm. then I'm there, bro. But if it's if it's kind of dull or the animation, so I'm big with anime. Yeah, and then I'm big with animation too, bro. Like if it's kind of like ugly, ugly, then I mm-hmm. can't do it. Cause you know how somebody, some people just have like their weird form of art, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like uh, uh I can't Maybe, dig it. You know what anime style I can't stand? CG. I cannot stand that shit. I hate CG. The only no, it, CG it, anime that I was able to tolerate was Berserk. Like anything yeah. else, like I just could not stand that shit. I can't. Yeah, it. It, but it's it's to me, it's more or less how it's implemented, bro. Like if it's implemented, like not overkill, because sometimes it's just like overkill, bro. It's just like you're watching a big budget fucking movie, mm-hmm. you know. Like if they don't do it like that and kind of like I don't know, just keep the look of it still like like a little bit traditional, then I, mm-hmm. I it's it's all right, bro. But yeah, man. Um, I mean, look at this though. Like, look at the the, the outlets we have for anime. Like, um, you know, Crunchyroll, Funimation, now Amazon. Everything's yeah. like a YouTube. Ooh, all of that. Yeah. So remember back then we just had what like Toonami and fucking Channel Channel Nine, I think. Well, uh, here in California, yeah, like I think it was it was probably nine for you and for me. I think it was like I want to say like Channel Ten. But yeah, but like just so wild. That's all we had though back then. Now we right. now we had it everywhere, you know. Yeah, you we have was at the mercy of whatever they showed back then too. We didn't have like the option to choose what we exactly, wanted. We just exactly. Had to sit through, like, and if we missed that episode, fool, it was, was over it. for that us, was dog. It. That was it. You yeah, know, like the luxury it. we have now, we just we just like like just blessed with anime, bro. Like it's fantastic. And um, yeah, man. <laughs> it's just good shit, bro. Right. Love so, it. So what um what manga and uh, webtoons you into? Uh so mangas I'm reading right now, of course, is My Hero, um Black Clover, uh Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball. Uh, um I was I was reading Fire Force, but the sh- I, I don't know the show to me the show's better than reading it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird. I mean it that, really that is bro. sometimes. Sometimes, it man. really is. Um, yeah, it really is, bro. Like, there's a whole list of shit. Um, webtoons. I'm I'm reading way more webtoons than I'm, than I'm reading freaking manga right now. At the now, moment, now, okay. Now, since you said that, I have to ask you this question because you know I've been like on webtoons for the longest, and I've been trying to get everybody to read that shit. So, is it just me? Or do webtoons just hit a little bit differently to where you just want to try shit that you never tried Yo, before? webtoons hit harder. Webtoons hit harder, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I, I ain't gonna lie, lie bro. Because I be, I be reading, going back and like reading Shonen Jump and reading like other things. And I be like, Yo, bro, it's, webtoons it's, just hit a little like, differently for me. Like, it does, bro. It does. And I don't know if it's like because most of it's, well, all of it's like in color. <laughs> but I, I don't know. And then the way they like advertise, like when you go to a site the sites, like bro, like it just look better. And then stuff is like written better, bro. Cause like I find stuff I wouldn't probably normally be interested in. Mm. But the way webtoons have it, like and access to it, I give it a go and it's actually good. Like that's right. why I, that's why I keep just picking up so much new stuff and putting stuff down like I don't like. I, I don't think I've done this so much, bro. And and since like I joined like the webtoon community, bro, like right. it's crazy. But you you're absolutely right, dude. Um, the look, um, the writing, shit. The, even though like webtoons is like like supposedly like lower budgeted, like the stuff looks better, the yeah. content's better. You know, and it seems like they're hungrier in web the webtoon field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, they're definitely hungrier. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess. You you have to be hungry because like okay, it's it's so like every creator's dream is to get an anime right. Like yeah. every creator wants their series to be an anime at one point, or at one point of another, or that's their long term dream. Like for example, the creator of God of High School, um, Young G Park, his his dream was for his series to become an anime. So mm-hmm. 
regardless of how you feel about the anime for God of High School, like this man is head over heels happy and excited and everything, you know. But regardless yeah. of how, how you may feel about it, like this man's dream has come true. Millions of people have read the series and now he finally has an anime of it. So this man is happy. So and just for a lot of webtoon creators and especially with the deal with Crunchyroll and webtoons, you know, helping these creators get their um, series to be an anime like that's always a great thing to look at and um you know you really got to commend crunchyroll on that part for seeing the growth in webtoons and the potential there yeah dude and dude crunchyroll is putting, yeah crunchyroll is putting money into it too bro like low-key like they're not getting some like like lame studios to produce them because no one knows about the webtoons that much you know because you would think most of the time it's like uh no one really knows so should we like go full in on them? You know, like right. but Crunchyroll has has did their thing, dude. Because one of my topics later on I want to bring up um, has something to do with Crunchyroll and their exclusives. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually forgot to tell you about that, but yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, dude. So just I don't know, man. Just it's something like you said. It's it's hard to describe or explain, mm -hmm. but you know how you feel about the webtoons. You know, like it's it's. I don't know, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just something different about it. But, yeah. Um, and you know what? I compare it to, like, college football and NFL football. Hmm. You know, like, I mean, NFL is, like, the big time. So that's kind of, like, what, like, Shonen and manga and all that is, yeah, like, the big Japan time. And and, it. Yeah, and it's, like, once you get there, you kind of, like, you either just, like, take off and become, you know, Pat Mahomes mm -hmm. and, and just be, like, the, the fucking, the show of the show. Right. Or you just, like... But in college football, bro, like it's more exciting. Like when you watch the games, like it, the, the it, it, it's like March Madness, bro. It's just in, insane, and that's how I feel about like the atmosphere around webtoons, bro. It's just like it's like college football, bro. It's just like so much, like it's so many teams, which means so much content, um, so many good teams, so so much good content. Like like I'm telling you, it's like it's a it's a very good comparison when you look at it that way because it's like with shown in and all that. Once you make the big times, you either go up or just be stagnant like i made it and then you don't really care to like once you made it you, that that desire that hunger is gone you know what right. i'm saying like and that's how i feel kind of some of those things do because uh it's i mean you made it right like you either yeah, you there you there like you say some people like that's their dream once they make it they kind of like i made it what do i do now <laughs> type shit but like they're it's, i'm telling you like the art the writing um it's just it's, that's just how i feel about it. I, I compare it to that dude yeah, man. So it's it's definitely a thing. Um, well, are you watching anything? Anything in any new um, summer season? Anything piqued your interest? I mean, I'm watching what everybody else is watching for the most part, and like me discovering and finding something new for myself. Nah, not really. Um, you know, got a high school is the key one. Fire Force. Um, I'm actually going back and reading some old stuff, man. Or reading or watching some old stuff, dude. Because, uh, like, I, like I said, I, I was getting my girl involved, mm -hmm. and she has me watching a lot of the old stuff. So, because I'm, I'm trying to like get her into it, so showing her some of the older stuff. Blessings to you, fam. I, I've tried. For years. <laughs> that that shit is long gone. Bro, no, like, like Death Note, bro. For her, like, she actually picked up on it. I thought she was gonna be like, what? Trips she, out about man, it. I tried to get my girl to watch Death Note. She was like, Nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> so like death death note she she loves fucking Dororo, bro like even though it was just like hot and quick mm -hmm. um she uh <laughs> she's killing up yeah that shit going <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, oh yeah bro but um yeah she she digging like some stuff bro so i mean i'm i'm excited to get her into it you know so hey man more power to you get you a girl that like anime y'all y'all hear it all right, so as far as me, I mean, y'all already know a little bit about me. Um, if you don't, well, here we go. So I'm JD, of course. Um, you know, like anime, manga, webtoons, all that jazz. Current, let's see, what I'm watching, um, Rent a Girlfriend, um, Uzi, Uzaki-chan, watching that, Fire Force, um, Misfit, uh, Demon King Academy, um, Sayo greatness, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sayo, all y'all haters <laughs> out there. <laughs> and um, hating for, hating for no reason. Yeah, hating for no reason, boy. Piss me off, hating on that great animation and art, boy. They 
tripping. But um, other than that, that's pretty much about everything I'm watching. Really not watching too much. Uh, oh, and God of High School, of course. Yeah, but yeah, y'all should know that already if you um, see Hunter's Association. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it as far as what I'm watching. Uh, reading wise, now that's a subject for a whole. <laughs> I'm reading so much shit. Like, okay, so if we're going just manga based, as far as what I'm reading, I'm reading Black Clover, um, My Hero. Um, I'm starting Burn the Witch today. First chapter just came out, so I gotta start that. See what that's hitting like. Also, I am reading Dragon Ball, Boruto, and Dragon Ball. Yep. And, yeah, but you, but it, it ain't hitting with Boruto though. But that's that's something for another. Yeah, well, that's what I, I've actually dove back into Boruto too. So I totally forgot to yeah, I totally forgot to mention it. Yep. That, just because like I got hyped for the fact fire. that they're gonna. Yeah. yeah, I got it, it's because I got hyped and got happy about the fact that they're actually like really like trying to adapt it now to like the actual freaking anime and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So that that gives me hope because bro, like watching three hundred episodes of filler ain't no joke, bro. Or just <laughs> not catching shit, bro. It's, Facts, it's, bro. It's, it's tough, bro. Facts, bro. Um, you don't you don't you don't really like take interest to it because you know it don't mean shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, it's it's been crazy. Like goddamn Periot, bro. I swear, I got that But um, also I'm reading this new series that came out called Kaiju Number Eight or Monster Number Eight. You you seen that one yet? Uh uh-uh. uh Yo, that 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 shit gonna be good. That shit, that shit is like one of the next things. You said Kaiju Number Eight? Yeah. I I think I heard of it. Yeah, that, that shit's good, bro. Um, I was reading Jujutsu Kaisen, but I was like, for some reason, it wasn't hitting as hard for me as it was for, like, a lot of people I know. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for the anime. Maybe it's kind of like how you said, G, the anime is going to hit better for me than the actual manga. So, that's when I'm waiting. That was, my, that was actually one of the topics, bro. So, hold that. Hold that. Hold oh, that thought. Okay. All right. All right. So, we're going to talk about that later. But that's enough with us rambling. We're going to go ahead and um, get into some of the topics because I'm pretty sure y'all are like, all right, nigga, shut up. <laughs> we get it, y'all. Y'all like anime and shit. Dude, I'll just I'll just jump straight into it. So Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. All right. uh, launching exclusive country roll, right? Is one of the uh, like their exclusives, their bigs. Um, dude, they got a powerhouse studio behind it. Cause uh, for me, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. For me, for me, like the r- reading was kind of harder because the characters look a lot alike. Well, you I don't know if you got that. Um... Oh, you're talking about the manga? Yes, bro. Yeah. Like, they just look so, like, I would be like, who's who right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, you know, Map Studio is, like, fucking fantastic for um, just their animation. I mean, look what they're doing uh, with God of High School. So, right. Crushy Roll is in with them right now, bro. Like, they, they, they hot with it. So, since that was a topic and you had something to say about it, go ahead, bro, before I get into it. Um, what you just talking about is like just as far as the exclusives, yeah. No, well, how you felt about it like being announced in and stuff like that? I mean, because Crunchyroll is big, bro, so it's actually good that they're getting more and more um originals, more or less, because it gives you a reason to go back in and go to the content and whatnot. Right. Um, you talking about just like for the series they gain, or you just talking about like for webtoons in general? The series they gain and for webtoons in general, like how do you feel about the whole like like what's your excitement going forth? And now that they but the because that's the thing like it's one thing for them to do the shows, but mm-hmm. for them to be hits, yeah, they're becoming hits, meaning you know the future is bright. You know what I'm saying? Because if right. the shit failed, then they wouldn't keep investing or keep trying. And yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's good, good um, that it's happening that way. And that they're getting these exclusive and these licenses and rights for these shows and series. Um, as far as I'll touch on the webtoon side first because um, that's what I've been mostly keeping track of. Because like, if it's a series in Japan, like okay, it's it's gonna get an anime if it's popular. Like, there's just no, you know, if and a bus about it. Like, if it's hit, if the manga is hidden in Japan, it's gonna get an anime eventually. Um, like Spy X Family, Chainsaw, all them, like, it's it's coming, like, <clears throat> it's, there's no way around it. Um, as far as the Webtoon side goes, it's like, it's a little different because you have this huge, huge catalog of different series from different publishers, not just neighbor Webtoons, 
that um, we've been getting so far, like God of High School, Tower of God, and Noblest. But like just other series, as some of you may know, the popular ones, um, Solo Leveling, and you know, uh, what's a what's another real popular one? Um, um, Omniscient Reader that just came out, but that's on Neighbor now. But anyway, so yeah, it's just like with the webtoon side, like I kind of touched on earlier, it's it's really good because we get to see a lot of these shows and a lot of people get to see a lot of these different things that they've been reading for like 10, 12 years and it's finally getting an anime. So it's always good to see that. And I think it's, I think yeah, it's overall right. good. I think it's overall good. Yeah. Now, it's, now as far as the other piece of news <laughs> that goes along Crunch Road, that's when things might take a little, a little turn. But um, mm. I guess we can go ahead and kind of combine these two. So the other piece of news was that I'm pretty sure all of you heard by now. If you haven't, well, here you go. So it was reports coming out a few weeks back that AT&T, which is the parent company of Elation. Well, AT&T, which owns Elation, which Elation is the parent company for Crunchyroll. AT&T is trying to sell off some of their assets, as you've heard, because they're in debt. So they're trying to clear out some, you know, extra stuff that they don't really mess with too much. So, um, like, if you're in the game side, you've heard they're trying to get rid of the um, WB games section of their stuff. And as for the anime they, side... They got some crazy-ass debt, bro. Yeah, it's wild. It is, it's when you actually like, look into yeah. it, their debt is, like, as yeah. big as you think AT&T is. And we think AT&T is, like... They're big, big and doing super well. Their debt is like right. insane, bro. Right. So like they're they're trying to you know chop off some loose ends, you know, save some money here and there. So one of their things that they own is Elation, which is Crunchyroll. So they're trying to sell off Crunchyroll, and reports were coming in that they was trying to sell Crunchyroll off to Sony for one point <laughs> five billion dollars. Now, is that a, necessarily a bad thing? No, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But it is a bad thing when you think about what Sony owns. Sony owns Funimation. So Sony is pretty much will be the monopoly for anime <laughs> in all sense yeah, of the word. Exactly. So that becomes kind of a problem because nobody really wants to see a monopoly. I mean, in retrospect, you can say, yeah, it's good because now they can combine the Crunchyroll catalog and Funimation catalog and just make this one big anime thing. But then you they, look at it, it's like, okay, so yeah, they can do that, but then like, there's no competition. They're not trying. There will be really nobody to challenge them as far as, no. hey, you know, we can have these series or hey, we can have these series. Like, yeah, Netflix and Amazon, they get series here and there, but like, the main two companies that really bring the series to us is Crunchyroll and Funimation. And mm -hmm. if Sony owns both of them, then that's that's just trouble because I, I don't I wouldn't like that. Uh, yeah, and then you, we may go into a field they become like stagnant because they don't have a competition. They don't they're not driven to, you know, like have they don't have any competition, bro. So they're not driven right. to do anything extra and go the extra mile. They already have our subs, because I mean like you, you look at the account on like like just Crunchyroll. They got what like seventy million, uh, like registered users and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that's some um, crazy. And then Funimation have what they have. And if Sony has it, and like you said, the monopoly is gonna be insane. And then, um, shit, man, just it, it'd be some crazy, bro. Like if they they really like locked it down, which is a real possibility, they may do it. And then, I mean, only thing I can say that that could come from it, like really, really good though, is that. Video games, bro. Sony will have the right to probably make a bunch of those. But like, then that will still even be worse because that's just a monopoly as far as like what can it will come be. to Nintendo, what can come to Xbox. Like, is like, it will be, but it will be, but like it'll still be good, bro. Because we there's stuff like we would have loved to play like dope ass video games back in the day, you know, I mean, that we could never it's still got. Like, so. We would love to play, but it's just like you know, that that's too big of a monopoly, bro. I'm sorry, I even, <laughs> even though. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do no, I'm not it. saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing. Like, I'm not saying the whole overall picture is a good thing, but I'm just saying that is some good that could come from it. It's not to me. It's not completely negative. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, if bad guy get on their shit, then you know we we wouldn't have these problems anyway. Like, huh. stop stop giving us like twenty Dragon Ball games and stuff, bro. Like, 
you spread the wealth. Give us something else. You can spread the wealth a little bit. It's but right. it's when they, but you know what? Sometimes when they do though, like because they're so licensed out to all these other like companies. That's when that's what I'm saying about like good thing coming from Sony because we know that Sony, um, for the most part, their games are high quality. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes from like their studios. No fam. Um, the, what was that? The life of the black tiger or something? I don't know what you're talking about, fam. Cause that shit was booty butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it, I don't know, dude. Like, but like you look at those games, like like the like My Hero One Justice and stuff like that. Right. Those games aren't like, bro. Like, I have games on my phone that's better than those games, bro. Yeah, you know, I mean, like what well, we had the Black Clover, um, Royal Knights. That was those are like that, full... that was like a Overwatch. That was like Overwatch with the Black Clover skin. <laughs> yeah, those games. They're like yeah, we like. Had the Bar- I mean, gone are the days that we had like Ubisoft producing like anime games. Like, remember when Ubisoft did a, a, a Naruto? Yeah, like, I mean, Rise, was that um, Broken Bonds? Broken Bond and then like Rise of Ninja. Those two were slap harder than any Naruto oh, yeah. game that came out afterwards. Yeah, you remember you know the, um, like, the 2D um, Naruto games, Ultimate Ninja? Yes. That shit, yep. was, that shit was the truth. Yeah. yeah, that shit was. So crazy. like, I remember when, but but like the like those like like bigger comp like you ain't have we ain't have a real big company touching anime game and I don't know how long, bro. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? A company it's that, so that, a company that, that can put more money into it instead of just a company that's putting more money into it and then just um just like like technically being a skin because like that Black Clover game looked like a skin of the of the uh yeah. like it's like a over yeah you know what i'm yeah, saying like these are like skin overs bro mm-hmm. and same with the my hero like they just my hero over here looking it just they just look bad bro and like it's just quality and I, I i i know sony um knowing them once they know they have something and they like just think about whatever the biggest thing on 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 um crunchy roll right now and them just taking it and putting some money behind it because they will and giving us like a full-fledged like those Attack on Titan games, bro. They look fucking terrible. Like, Wait, whoa, we, the Attack on Titan games did not look terrible, bro. Come on now, come on. they did not look terrible. You, we've seen bro, they some look, terrible okay, anime the games. The same way they look on Titan. next gen, it's bad when the same way they look on next gen. They look the same way on like, like the Nintendo, like the Nintendo, not the, was it the 3DS or whatever? Like, uh, did it come out on 3DS? I don't know, something like I that, bro. They just on look, the Switch, but I don't, I don't know or the Vita called. or something. I don't know, but they looked. The same way. I mean, all they and did was just like, downscale it, bro. That's it. That's all they did. Yeah, but it looked like they run on the same, like, like it wasn't a downscale, bro. Like the same oh thing. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like the same thing. Oh. You know, like I, I don't know, bro. I, 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 I have hope for that because I would love, like a, I don't know, bro. Just I mean, you get the mid Slayer game um next year, so you you gonna be alright, fam. Well, okay, well, like, 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 imagine a dope ass, like. Like God of High School on like a Street Fighter level, bro. See, I wouldn't even yeah. want it on a Street Fighter level. I would want it on like some Ultimate Ninja. I mean, not on um, Ultimate Ninja, just some Ninja Storm type shit. I need that 3D if it's God of High School, fam. I need that. 3D. Look, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like I'm saying the level of like the money that's put behind it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like there ain't no money putting those those other games, bro. Like hardly, you know. Like I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's definitely a a touchy thing, but I don't know. I don't know, dog. I, I still can't get behind it. E- I don't even, want the monopoly, even, though. I'm, 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 I'm completely in agreement with you about yeah. the monopoly situation. We don't need that. Yeah, because that that we, would definitely. We, do we don't need that in any. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, I don't. We don't need that in any anything. Because look how look how bad our football like video game scene is. You know, because yeah. of it. So yeah. we don't need that. <laughs> right. Not, Madden has been an absolute same for like twenty years, bro, and it looks like it's so gonna continue. Not that new Madden, huh? Right. So, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That that ten hour hot play uh will, norm- will normally suffice, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to EA Access. <laughs> yeah, well, which is now EA Play, but yeah, that normally suffice, my mm-hmm. guy. So yeah, but I don't know. Yes, hopefully that doesn't come to pass. Hopefully, um, AT and T just either decides to keep him or just let elation be its own thing you know they just kind of separate themselves and elation either buys them out or buys their stock out or whatever the case may be but um hopefully that's the case but you know that's just something we're gonna have to wait and see and monitor and see what happens um as far as other news that's been happening 
So let, let's go ahead and get this out the way. His whole <laughs> act age thing. Now, of course, everybody knows the um the dude was wrong. Okay, he he was just dead wrong for what he did. And uh, if you don't know what he did, pretty much he wasn't acting his age. <laughs> The author of Act <laughs> Age was not acting his age. Now, <laughs> I feel bad for the victims that um yeah, it was out of pocket. Right. That he <laughs> um kind of harassed and I also feel bad for the artist of Act Age because she had absolutely nothing to do with anything he was doing. So now she's out of a job because he wanted to be a dumbass. So I mean, but the crazy part is I loved Act Age. Like that was my other shit I was reading. And that was like my saving grace when like Promise Neverland ended and all the other series were starting to end just seemed like back to back. And like I still had Act Age and now the Act Age is gone and I'm never gonna get that anime <laughs> that I was hoping I was gonna get. It, it it hurts. It hurts. But um what what was your thoughts on that whole big Act Age thing? Man, out of pocket, bro. I was just like, "Yo, what the hell is going on?" I, we don't, and you know what? This, oh man, this whole like, this whole like. I mean, it came off the bat too, like the whole like, kind of like Me Too stuff. Like, yeah. yo, we don't yeah. need that. We don't need that in this field. Right. We don't need it. Like twenty twenty you know, like, is bad enough, fam. Like, come right? On. We don't need, and then we don't need any bad press towards like anime, webtoons, anything like that because we. It's like we're becoming our own worst enemies, you know, like, like we already get looked at as like kind of like weirdos, you know, like just right. just off the rip. They like like oh, you, you watch, look at you watch know cartoons how, still. Yeah, exactly. Like, we have we have thirty right now. Like we have like colored we have like colored uh like obbies of ourselves in the, in the form of our favorite characters and whatnot, right? right. So th- automatically they look at that and just like discount us, bro. Like oh, you got a cartoon logo, uh, you you you're, you this and you that, like without trying to you know go crazy with the comments because i know exactly what they say but i'm not trying to use that here but but that's my point like we don't need any more bad press and bad look on us because they're gonna be look there it is see y'all just proving our point over here doing some out of pocket shit like y'all some some straight weirdos over there man now don't get me wrong there is some weird shit that goes on in the community you know you have no no doubt no doubt but a lot of it you have your um the like the weird shit i've seen (laughs) is the the shipper community like that. The shipper community, y'all be on another level, bro. Uh, it's, especially the boys shippers, like oh man, y'all be on another level, fam. That high stuff, like okay. So PS three sixty HD. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know him. So he was on Twitter. He was talking about how the high Q community is the worst. And I was like, worse than like One Piece and My Hero? I was like, I don't know, bro. Because One Piece and My Hero community is pretty bad. It's, it's pretty rough out there. Oh, yeah. It's pretty, especially, it's pretty bad. Dude, especially when, whenever Mid Slayer was taking down One Piece. Fuck, bro. Like, bro. They, they couldn't believe it. Oh, right. my God. And I was like, nah, bro. I think you tripping. And he was like, bro, I'm telling you. Just just go on Twitter and type in Haikyuu. That's all you got to do. And I was like... All right, bro. So I went and did it, and I was like, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> the shit I saw, I was like, man, I wish I would have never <laughs> did what you told me to. And he was like, see, I told you. I was like, yeah, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna still say like one piece of my hero. They they're still like top two for like worst fan bases, bro. Y'all y'all some toxic ass dudes. <laughs> y'all be toxic in the community, bro. Like if anybody yeah. says anything is better than either one piece of my hero, y'all. Like y'all whole community go after one person neck, bro. But you know, but look, but look, look at that. That's now that's another topic because you got. I'm gonna use this as a topic right now. You, just off that, my hero One Piece, right? What's mm-hmm. the just off the top of your head? What's the difference? What just in the, the series or just, just the communities? Just, no, just like between those two, bro. It's the era, right? Mm-hmm. One Piece is like our era, like the old school, like the yeah. like the OG. You yeah. know, the original big three. And who is the new kid on the block? And along with all the Black new... Clover. Exactly. So you got to look at all the new anime audience that's come. That's why they shit on our, our, our old stuff. It's like, it's like you know, the new always want to compare and shit on the old stuff because that's just... they Because for one, they haven't read it or seen it mm. for the most part. So they automatically assume, nah, this is better because that's the only thing they've watched. 
Yeah. That's the only thing they read. Yeah, let's keep it real. Majority of them ain't going going back and watch like two thousand episodes of One Piece, fam. Like not at all. Hell no, not let's at all. Let's keep it real. Like if, if you and wasn't it, with One Piece like from the very <laughs> beginning, nine times out of ten, you ain't you ain't gonna try that. And not at all, bro. And it's gonna get worse whenever um because like it, that the man the toxicity of the community gonna get worse in a second because we got that uh that damn. Demon Slayer movie gonna drop too. You know how they were all over Demon Slayer. That shit, Whoa. I'm telling you, that shit was winning all all the little tournament charts they were putting. Like, what's the best? Man, wow. they had Demon Slayer cleaning yeah, the house, bro. I ain't gonna lie though. Like, even though you know how I feel about Mid Slayer, but um, <clears throat> I mean, Demon Slayer overtook One Piece in Japan, which is something a lot of us never thought would ever happen. Like, because you know how long it's been, right? Since anything even got close to one piece in sales and demon slayer like literally took over japan like it seemed like overnight so i'll give him i'll give him props for that you know she did her thing as far no, as i'm not i'm not i'm not just telling that at all i'm just saying how toxic the 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 freaking yeah. the community is gonna yeah, be but I'm, I'm saying like um you know as far as what a community can hang their hats on as far as that whole thing you know that you know yeah Demon Slayer is the king of Japan. Of course, now the Demon Slayer is over. One Piece gonna, you know, take the throne again. But it's just like but now it's only gonna it's only be looked at as it's only took the throne because Demon Slayer is over. Right. So so Demon Slayer is like went out the way you want to go out on top. Like right. you don't want to go out being like number six, number seven, because then you're just an afterthought. But the fact you going out on number top, on top, you can be like I, that's like Jordan last shot going out. I'm gone. You know, like I did it. Fact. You know, like. That's that's big, bro. That's yeah, really big. It's, it's definitely big. So, but yeah, the, the anime community is gonna get even t- more toxic now that the webtoons is pretty much taking over. And if you don't believe webtoons is taking over, then you you really have not been paying attention to what's going on. Yeah, that's like, facts. Webtoons is literally taking over and it's literally inching every step. It seems like every day, like a new webtoon is getting more popular and more popular and more people are jumping on it and japan is like fuck <laughs> yep you like uh, so like how i'm looking at it is like okay if you look at the action you can you can make an argument i'm not saying like it'll be correct or whatever but i'm just saying you can make an argument that as far as action titles goes you can say webtoons has either tied japan in that or overtaken them the same with adventure, the same with romance, you know, being like, let's play, I love you, um, lookism, like, true beauty, all those series. Bro, it's, no, you're absolutely correct, yeah. bro. And, now, and it's becoming as far a fact, as what bro. I would give, that ass. <laughs> yeah, so as far as, like, what I would still give Japan, like, the full-blown edge over is isekais. Like, I don't know mm-hmm. what it is about webtoons. But every isekai they have, like, somebody has to have a game menu screen. I don't know what the fuck is up with everybody <laughs> wanting to use a game menu screen in their series. But I'm like, okay, we need some kind of diversity here, bro. Like, you, I'm, I can't be reading y'all stories and everybody has a goddamn menu screen and everybody has the one punch man, you know, set up to where I got to train. Like, we, we need something different. Like, Japan has so much variety as far as isekai. It's like, <clears throat> crazy. So... If webtoons can get their isekai game under control, then we'll really have like a a good head to head battle going on, like on every category front. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> fucking game menu. Bro, That's like, true, bro. Like I never, th- you know, I never thought about it like that because, like, I I I don't tend to like try to get into too many isekais, bro, because mm-hmm. it's just uh, I don't know, bro. It's not it's not my like my go to. Like category or whatnot, you know, like it's just, it's there, but but yeah, dude. So the game menu, <laughs> I was just like, looking at something like, too, bro. Like, like pay, pay attention to like all these isekai where they either travel to another world or another world, you know, comes to their actual world, and every one of them gonna have a fucking menu screen, bro, a game menu screen, and you are gonna be like another one, like you gonna you gonna be thinking like you DJ Cali for a second, another one, like bro, that shit is wild. How they do that? I'm like y'all. Y'all need to diversify yourselves. Yeah, that's. 
Like, I, I get it, it's different, but I mean, you know, technically Sayo did that first, but I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's good. <laughs> hey, tell me why I just see this um this gum this gum holder mm. of Nezuko's bamboo, bro. They're going wild with it, bro. Oh my god. I can't We're gonna have that. people walking down the street now. I can't what? do. <laughs> Nezuko's muzzle because it holds gum. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hey. Um, hey, what, uh, what other topics we got? Like future best girl, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Bro, I love I love going to Demon Slayer just because you're you're like you're disdain for it, bro. It's just comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Demon Slayer, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and, and for y'all who so probably great. gonna get on my neck after watching this, like, oh my god, she hates Demon Slayer. I don't hate it. I just think y'all just overhyped the shit out of it and the shit is mid as fuck. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's and that's the thing. People always think you hate it, but it's just the fact that you know it's not as good as being fucking touted to be, you know, like right. being put on this pedestal. Like like yeah. you guys have no idea. No, literally no idea. Um but you have any other It's good though, though, but just not as the way it's looked. What's up? I say you got any more topics for us? Nah, I think that's about it, man. About short it. and sweet, brother. Okay, short and sweet. Um, but yeah. Oh, like, oh, yeah, oh. the an- anime law. Oh yeah, anime law. Ha. Got hot damn. All right. So I'm gonna let you take this one. I'm gonna let you start off with this one. Well, I'm gonna let you go because oh, you, you got more information on it than I do. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I, have, uh, I don't know, man. I'm kind of rusty on my information lately. <laughs> you know, I used to I used to know everything so, like before the shit. So I mean, like, well, I mean, I, I guess I'll go. It's um, it's pretty much what a distribution um companies coming together to launch a new hub like on YouTube, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say so. If you, a lot of y'all know, like how you have your reaction, you have different groups in the YouTube community, like in this instance, like the reaction community. Um, that, you know, of course, we're a part of as well. Um, You know, a lot of people react to anime episodes here and there and how, like, you can't put no more than, like, eight seconds of something before they try to strike your ass and shit. So, we this new thing called Anime Law, which you can go subscribe to on YouTube right now, by the way. Um, They're pretty much just a whole bunch of distribution and production companies are coming together and going to make anime free. New content, digital content. Um, as far as like what series, and it's 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 not just like bullshit companies. Like you got Toei in on it. Mm-hmm. Um, Kodashna, Kodashna is that what it's called, right? Oh, Kodansha, Kodansha. There you go. That one. Um, you got Shine. Like you got you got some pretty decent like companies, bro. So I don't think it's just like the cheapest of the cheap. Just and YouTube's just throwing us a bone. Right. It's actually, some great uh, big stuff going on there. So yeah. Um. And I'm looking at the um, one of the news reports now. It's like they're aiming to make, um, as of right now, starting off 3,000 titles from each company available to everybody in 2022. So expect this thing to launch in 2022, uh, maybe late 2021, depending on how things go. But as y'all know, whatever things going on with the world, definitely expect 2022. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, but yeah, they're definitely. Um, they're definitely trying to do something different. Um, I think Japan is definitely feeling that heat. They feeling uh, Webtoons coming for that neck. So they like... Yo. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna have to like like loosen up on some like, of their... Because like, like, Webtoons isn't that strict. Like Japan's shit is very strict, bro. Like you can't do shit with any Japan series. Like they barely let niggas put up a panel of their shit before they strike you down or try to strike you down. So... This is, I guess, them. They be trying, trying, they be trying to strike down. They be trying to strike down fan art, bro. Right, bro. So <laughs> I guess this is them trying something different. I'm um, trying to be and um, have more progressive attitude towards things as far as getting their content out there. Because like, if they just try to keep it as sheltered and exclusive as possible, like that, that shit gonna die out. Like you, you it's just nothing you can do about it, bro. Like. You see mm-hmm. Korea and everything is like, hey, as long as y'all don't go too crazy with it, y'all can show whatever and all that stuff. Like, we want the publicity. Bring it. Bring it. We ready. We ready for it. Japan, like, nah, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, they're not going for that like, shit. We ain't with that shit, bro. You gonna you gonna pay us? Which I, I ain't mad at. I'm like, you want your coins? I, I feel you, bro. But like, you can't get your coins if nobody know about your shit. He facts. And that's free marketing, bro. Right, like <laughs> marketing free hype. Right, all all us YouTubers are. It's just we're just free marketers, bro. That's all we are. We don't. Half of us don't even get paid over because half of us never. A lot of us never reach a thousand. A lot of us never reach a million. Damn sure, n- none of us ever reach a million. Like it's really a select few that actually reach that goal. But you know, it's like you can't even get a hundred k, bro. Right, shit. Half, half niggas don't even get a hundred k. So it's just like you know, we just free marketers. Like, bro, we helping yeah. you out, really. Yep. You know how many people that's, that's that the weird part of the whole because thing. of YouTube. YouTubers like us, like, come on, bro. Especially webtoons, like that shit was in the dark, bro. Right. That was like the dark web. You had to go into the dark web to find it, find it. So facts. And now that shit, that shit, that shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it's definitely a good thing. This anime log, um, like I said, you can go subscribe to it on YouTube right now. I already did. Um, they don't have no content up, so if you're going to subscribe, just be aware there's nothing on there. But I think they got like two hundred and twenty some thousand subs right now on that. That's, that's still good though, bro. Yeah, on that channel, so everybody's waiting, and you definitely want to be one of the first to hop on it when that drops. But um, yeah, you got anything left to say, G? Uh, which is better, Fairy Tale or Seven Deadly Sins? The anime or the series? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Which is which better overall? Uh, I'm gonna throw these out like every show. We're gonna do anime, one. Anime wise, I'm gonna have to go with fairy tale anime wise, bro. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> and uh, have you seen the last season of <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins? <laughs> like, no, you, bro, you, you cannot tell me anime wise Seven Deadly Sins is better. Hold on, hold on. The, that, the last shit I seen on Seven Deadly Sins you, you've was. You seen bro. that artwork and that animation for that, bro? Like, don't, oh. don't start. Do no, not start I forgot and about say that. that shit is better than Fairy Tale that, Fam. That's um that's on the tier of um oh shit, what is it? Uh Bad Boys or Mama's Titties. You wanna put them in this box. So <laughs> I put that shit in a box, bro. I forgot about it. Oh right. my jeez. Fairy tale all day when it comes to that, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, fairy tale. Fairy tale for the win. As far as series wise, I mean I, I know I really didn't like hey, I said, I, but. I stopped at a they certain but. point on the Seven Deadly Sins manga, so I can't really comment um, yeah. until, you know, to the part I stopped on. Um, I finished the whole fairy tale thing. I was like, fuck it. I started. I might as well fucking finish it. But they both but <laughs> they they both ended kind of booty. <laughs> they yeah. both. End, well, from what I heard, Seven Deadly Sins ended. Horribly. See, that's why you got to do. That's how we do our verses. We got to do it. Um. I like that. Something that's like very comparable because you can't just automatically have a winner right out the gate. Like that's that that shit's tough to like decide between two. Oh, Cause it's like I should have asked which one is more butt. Oh, you should... <laughs> which one, <laughs> which one is the best? Oh, which one is the better, bro? Oh. Which one is more butt? Which one's more ass, dude? Oh. So uh, I mean, I'll have to give it to Seven Deadly Sin just because Fairy Tale is still anime is still better. So you gotta go with the one who has more of the other. So I'm just I'm gonna go with Fairy Tale, fam. And I know pr- y'all All are right. probably gonna be another, another, like, another, another, another quick one. Another quick one. Right. Another quick one. Uh, your feelings? Just make it short and sweet on Avatar: Last Airbender losing the the actual showrunners and everything with the uh, Netflix. That was bound to happen, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. So real. What, do you, what do you think? Yay and nay? Is gonna be terrible or good? What do you think? It depends. Like. Because we don't know if Netflix is going to use any of the material that the sh- the original showrunners suggested mm-hmm. um, in the show. But uh, given that they're not going to be a part of it for the long haul, I'm, I'm just saying it's probably going it's probably going to end up mid. It, it'll it won't be great. It won't be bad. It'll just be all right. Now let me mm-hmm. ask you. Let me ask you real quick. Mm-hmm. One Piece live action. Oh, good gracious. What you, um, what you thinking? What you thinking? I got high hopes. I got high hopes. And I'm going to leave it at that. You got high hopes in One Piece live action, but you don't have high hopes in Avatar. <sighs> Did you know why I got no high hopes in Avatar? Because of M. Night Shyamala. 
have you seen <laughs> Netflix anime adaptations, live action shit, bro? Man, <laughs> yes, dude. Um, well, so, I, but you yo, have you, high hopes. <laughs> Hey, hey, because I, I want to have high holes, bro, just strictly because I want something to succeed, bro, and I hope it's that. That's that's all it is, man. Yeah, I, because I, I'll give because it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't Death Note. One piece, bro. Cow, you know what? Cow Bebop, yeah, I, I, I think Cow Bebop got a good shot. But yeah. um, and it probably has the best shot because it's probably an easier adaptation to do, mm. more or less, because One Piece with the water effects and oof, oof. Um, oof, you ain't got Jerry Bruckheimer out there from Pirates of the Caribbean doing water effects. I don't know what to tell you. Um, uh, you don't have Johnny Depp being one of the pirates, you ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't um, doing it justice. Yeah, see, that's ugh, I don't know. I, I I have more. I have higher hopes for. Maybe I meant that I have higher hopes for One Piece than than Avatar, just because, like I said, Avatar has just got a tainted fucking live action history. What Netflix has attained a live action history right. too. So Netflix as a whole has attained a that live full action. metal. That full. I don't understand how they. Bleach was okay. Know. The Bleach one was okay. Was it? I didn't even watch it, bro. But I know that full okay. metal. I watched that. I watched like thirty minutes of that full metal, and I just couldn't. I was almost throwing up, bro. The, the worst that shit, one. The worst um, one still is Death, Death Note, bro. Oh. How did they mess Death Note up when you had um? So it's so easy. It was so easy, oh. and they just fucked that up, bro. Yeah, man, that's oh, good inspiration. I know some people liked it. the The people who've never seen Death Note, like the manga or the anime, they they didn't have a problem. Shit, never seen the original movies, bro. The original movies actually slap, bro. Right. So the ones who never seen it and that was like their first introduction to Death Note, they loved it. But it's like, bro, y'all just don't know. I'm sorry, y'all just don't know the greatness, which was. Especially at least the first season. Like, if if you want to say, hold on, I mean, that's the reader better than Solo. Look, you gotta watch that video, bro. Hey, <laughs> hold on. We're supposed to, matter of fact, we was supposed to talk about that, right? Oh, well, we gonna save that. We yeah, gonna save that. We'll, 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 we'll touch on this next week. We gonna touch on that. for sure next week. We bringing it to we bringing that to the table next week. Did Did you start that yet? By the way, before we that's why we bringing it to the table next okay, week, dog. Right. So you, yeah, you gotta start that. You gotta start reading it. <laughs> We tabling that next week. That's that's for discussion because you talking about that. You talking about the solo man? That shit going. That shit go tier already, bro. What solo go tier for you? Go tier already, dog. Go tier webtoon or just like go tier. Yeah. Go tier series in general. Hey, hey, go tier webtoon for sure, and it, it ain't it ain't far off the series in general, bro. Shit, yeah, we we want to talk about this next time. <laughs> Next time. All right, but that's gonna be it for today's show, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one of the Otaku Fix. Um, hit that like and subscribe. Yeah, definitely hit that like and subscribe. We're gonna try to get more of a bullet point system going. You know, this time it was just like meet and greet. You know, just kind of us just rambling a little bit. You know, nothing nothing too strange because it hasn't been like too much news come out. Exactly. So yeah, this was just it. Um, you guys just you guys just lived an hour in the life of of JD and G because it's kind of like how our normal conversations go. <laughs> like this show was real easy, bro. Pretty much, like it, real easy is. It, it was a lot less argument dynamic this time around, though. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it was a lot less argument this time around. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of less fam calling, like fam, really fam, like. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, we had we had better dialogue this time around. Right, All right, y'all. Better um, written. The show was yeah. better written. Yeah, but definitely um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also leave your thoughts in the comment section below on everything we talked about. And until next time, we are out. Peace. Peace.